Hello out there, this is DZ, and welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition, the Director's Cut. <laughs> now, we're gonna try that dark game again, damn it, because, I don't know, for some reason I'm taking personal offense not having done better. Complete restores pulse rate and also keeps it low for long. Let's use one of these and see if it helps. Okay. R2 to hold my breath. Boom. That goes up faster than I thought. Damn. Single. Oh. Shit. I should probably go for the bullseye. It's just more of a guaranteed thing without having to hold my breath. Save holding my breath for the uh, times fives. Mm. Like right now. So it didn't help as much as I thought it would. Bullseye. Let's keep those bullseyes going. Oop. Boom. Shit. Damn it. Uh, my aim is not the best. Getting the bullseye though. I mean, at least that's giving me some decent points. Okay, so I want to get that triple 15. There! Yes! The big points. Boom! Triple eighteen. That could really be handy. Okay. There. Damn. Well, it's still eighteen times five, but man, I could be doing way better than this. I think I'm too worried about holding my breath for too long. Because my aim got really crazy when I held my breath too long last time. Bullseye. Sticking to the safe bed of the bullseye for the moment. Okay, 8 times 3. That's 24 times 5. Hmm... Uh, It's worth it to make the attempt, but still. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Bullseye.
Oh god. Now his aim's getting a little crazy. Oh my. 60 times 5. Are you serious? How can I not go for this? Yes! Oh, I'm not going to beat the top score. But I'm going to come in second. Damn. Single 20. Crap! Oh, here we go. Final shot. So I have to get to 17... 60-ish minimum? Ah, damn it! I'm in second. Quint done. Oh. Oh, I can't leave it at this, can I? One more try. We're going to do this, damn it. I am going to try and stick with the bullseye, though. That seems to be the sure thing, basically. Bullseye. Just about. It's only after I start holding my breath too long that it starts to get shaky. Bullseye. Okay. Uh, 19. Okay, that's going to be important. I can't miss this, damn it. Now! Yes! Okay. That was a shot I had to make. Oh, damn it. There we go. Aw. Damn. Okay. Okay, come on. York. Ah, sh shite. Okay. Okay, I need the triple seventeen. Yes! Oh! No! I mean, it's still 85 points, but god dang it. Ah, crap. Now I'm screwing up. Ah! Oh. I think I've screwed this. I don't think I can come back from this. Okay, please. Oh, thank you. Okay, that helped. Shite. There we go. There's the bullseye. Okay, so I need the triple 15, preferably. Okay. And okay, go. Yes. Nice. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. 
so fudging things up. Okay, triple 18. Triple 18. Oh, no! No! Crap. Crap! Okay. I think I'm screwed. I've already screwed this up too much. Okay, I'm gonna try for the triple eight. It's not gonna make as much of a difference, but... Holy jeez, this game. Okay, I gotta go for the guaranteed bullseyes. Okay, I have to get the triple 20. I have to. Sh shit. Nope, I'm screwed. Ah, uh, damn it. Fine. I'll just play it out. It doesn't matter. I can't possibly make it. I'll have to come back to this. I'm at least getting that bullseye. Times ten? I didn't even beat my last score. Can of pickles. Quit. Okay, I'll come back. You haven't seen the last of me, Dark Game. I'll be back for you, Dark Game. God damn it. Urgh. It's frustrating. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna try, uh, like I said before. Whoa! What? What the hell? What's happening? Whoa! Hi? Oh god. Okay, get in the car. We're hopefully safe in the car. Okay. Um, did not expect this. Whose house is this? That's Emily's. Panda bear. Wait, is no one around now? No one's around. Did, is everyone gone? Oh, crap. I did not expect this. Greenvale. Uh, Nick. All the people have disappeared. Okay, um, well, uh, huh, um, okay, uh, where am I, where do I, where am I, where am I right now, okay, I'm here, so if I go, uh, this way... This way... I can get back to the hotel. Okay, I'm heading back to the hotel, actually. We're getting the hell out of here, because I don't know what the frig is going on.
it's after midnight. Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. Uh-huh. I will. I better be going the right way. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yup. I'm going the completely wrong way. Great. I get to turn the hell around. Okay, okay, I might have panicked a little bit. Because I don't want to be out in this madness. Car is getting damaged. This is this is bad. I'm low on gas, and the car is gonna break down soon. I'm in trouble. Oh god, 24%. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Looks like I'm lucky at the moment. Whoa. Okay, come on. I need a left turn. Left turn. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! Okay. 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 That was, um... Oh, boy. Typewriter. Huh.
Okay then, Zack. Let's go back over our progress. First hmm. the victim, Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. Okay. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off and I found something inside her mouth. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Yeah. That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. According to Emily, it was raining when Anna was killed. But traces of tears were still evident on her face. Which means the perpetrator <coughs> killed Anna under a roof in the lumber mill, and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip with metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back and... One other thing. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Uh, yes. Broken stiletto heel. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body prior to it being discovered by us. Okay. Being the perpetrator who killed Anna and this stiletto heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people. Two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use mm. forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. <sighs> have I forgotten anything? Ah, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zack? Yep. What do you think she was holding on to? That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand suggest a piece mark. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside-down piece mark on his back. These two could well be related. But we mm. don't know for sure. Next, the town folk. A few are worthy of special attention. Carol McLean, okay. the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Corman, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who is out of town. Then we have right. problematic, old, rich, and eccentric Harry. Both will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by one. I've been yep. thinking. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. I wasn't getting all excited or anything. But it did make me feel strange. Nostalgic and sad, almost. What? What are you talking rain. about? I think this case may take a while. Hmm. Emily! Let's have Emily! I'll eat later! What? You'll eat right now, young lady. You need to listen to your mother. I want to hear the rest of the story. Eat your lunch, then take a nap. Then, 
I'll tell you the rest. But I want to hear it now. There's no need to rush things. You must live your life at the pace that is right for you. Okay. Did I actually end like an episode or something? Which could be a problem where I have an open quest or two? Wait, what? Basic wage, unpaid salary. Well, I've got plenty of funds, I don't need to worry about that. Only to end the episode now in a minute. What? You've earned a trophy. Episode 1 cleared. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. I hope I can still complete some of this stuff I took. Then again, it gave other dates, or chapters, or whatever it was. It might be fine. Oh. You again. Are you thirsty? You must be very thirsty. You only take milk with your coffee. Coffee with milk. That's all. Oh, okay. whoa. Hi. Um. Who are you? My name is Becky. Becky Ames, Anna's friend. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. Anna's friend? My name is Becky. Oh god. Okay, I need to find her. You must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. This is so damn weird. Okay. Episode 2, Part 1. Chapter 8, Muse's Gallery. I assume. Chocolate chip cookie. How delightful. Observe. I can't actually save in here, can I? No, I can't. All right. Then out we go. Waking up? No, not waking up. What the hell?
Hey kid. Man, this episode's That's running long me. again. That's me when it happened. What? When what happened? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, and now you're waking. Oh, God damn it. This game just keeps you in the dark, so to speak. Zach, this case looks like it's directly related to us. I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. Hmm. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. All right. Okay. First of all, well, we're going to end the episode, so I might as well start by saying, uh, let's see. Let's change back into that. Yes. Send those out for cleaning. Okay. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. Check out links in the description for Deadly Premonition on Steam, although this is the PS3 version. And there are a few links there. If you wish to contact me more directly, feel free to do so. And, well... In the next part, uh, I guess we'll go and have breakfast with Polly. And figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, boy. Until then, though, this is DZ. You guys have a great day. And I'll see ya.